Amber Heard's new lawyer, Elaine Brederoff, has pledged to support the new team. And what do I think that means? I think this is a sharp dig at Miss Heard. The word pledge has been used in, throughout the entire litigation to mean a promise you don't intend to keep. I think Elaine's throwing one parting shot. Follow me for more legal TikTok. I find it so funny Amber Heard, the women's advocate, fires her woman lawyer and hires the men to represent her in the appeal. Amber Heard has officially cut ties with Elaine Bredehoft. We are all shocked. In a press release that just went out this morning, Elaine said this is the perfect time to pass the baton. She goes on to say, I have pledged to Amber and her appellate team my complete cooperation and assistance as they move forward on a path to success. Notice she didn't say, I promised or I donated. She pledged. Hmm. Amber is officially moving forward with David Axelrod and Jay Ward Brown for her appeal. The pair successfully represented the New York Times in a defamation case earlier this year. They say we welcome the opportunity to represent Ms. Heard in this appeal as this case has important First Amendment implications for every American. We're going with the First Amendment thing, huh? Okay. Surprisingly, but I actually think this is a good choice given his knowledge of the case, Ben Rottenborn will stay on as co-counsel for Amber. You already know there's more to come. Stay tuned. As the lawyer for the man who convinced the world he had scissors for fingers. Johnny, don't. Johnny, please use your scissor hands to snip my pants off immediately dead. I think we all saw this one coming, but the best part's going to be when Elaine starts to spill the tea. So you recently released an official statement saying that you did in fact defecate on the bed now during court johnny said that it was about the size of a wonka bar would you say that's fair what people don't understand is it's it's actually so much bigger than that really wow well if you had three words to describe this excrement what, what would they be it was ugly and could be very beautiful it was very, very toxic. Toxic. A lot like their relationship. So before we go, I want to give you a chance to just clear the air. Can you promise that you will never drop a steamer on a bed again? Yes or no? That's a great question. I wish I could say yes to that. I want to say yes to you. But it, would, it wouldn't be true. Emma Heard has blamed a lot of people for losing her trial with Johnny Depp, but now she's blaming a makeup company. And how this all began was Amber Heard showed bruises of her face saying Johnny Depp was the one who gave them to her. And during her trial, she showed a makeup kit claiming it was the brand she used to cover up her bruises, which the kit showed was the Milani cover-up kit. But the problem was when Milani went viral doing a video pointing out that that kit was made in 2017, which was a big case against Amber Heard because she got divorced from Johnny Depp in 2016. And now months after the trial, Amber Heard and her legal team were blaming Milani for making the video. Where Amber Heard defended herself saying the Milani makeup kit was just a prop and not the actual makeup she used. And she couldn't remember the actual cover-up kit she used, so her legal team just picked that one because she said it looked similar. But the important thing is Milani did nothing wrong releasing that video where they released it six days after Amber Heard showed their makeup in court. And the jury was never informed of the video and not aware that Amber Heard's claim of using Milani was invalidated. So unless someone leaked the video to one of the jury members, Milani had no impact on the trial at all. This is all in Amber Heard's attempt to appeal the verdict, which is looking less and less likely to work. can't pretend that I understand his life, but I've had some experiences common to him. And I can imagine, at least in part, what it would be like at his age to lose a career and to have his children have to they never believed it. It's not like they believed their dad was a bad guy or done any of these things, but to have their children have to go through life with this stigma. So it was my job to try to convey that in closing to the jury. Um, so I was less kind of focused on, on some of these gotcha points. And it's more than gotcha. I mean, you know, the, the merits, as it were, but to try to put it in terms, not in dollars and cents, but what this man had lost and what what was at stake for him, which was to get his life back.
So the time has finally come where we are finally seeing Johnny Depp back in movies because a photo was just leaked to what he's going to look like in his next film. So this is what Johnny Depp looks like in his next film, Jean de Barry. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I tried my best, I'm not French. So he's playing King Louis the Fifteenth, and this is his first project after the defamation case between him and Amber Heard. And the fact that he's just back in action this quickly is awesome. Depp is an A-list actor that completely submerges himself in these roles. And as you can see right here, that still stands true. The film started production July 26th, and Versailles and Paris are some of the places that it's being shot in. But that's all I know about the movie so far, Johnny Depp is gonna kill it. You guys, there's always something, isn't there? There's always new nonsense coming out. I found it especially funny, the one where the person said, oh, look at that, who calls herself a feminist, fires the only female lawyer, and <laughs> hires two men instead. But um, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Had to end on the cool Johnny Depp news. I'm very excited about that. And yeah, you better believe as more stuff breaks, I'll be bringing it to you. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more, check out my Patreon, patreon.com backslash Real Housewives Recaps. I'll be talking to you again soon. Ooh, I got some good uh, Desperate Housewives stuff coming out soon, so look out for that. Take care. Bye-bye.